Hello, and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Uh, this is Jay Rodman, and uh, I'm continuing my adventures in Canestia, having just traveled downwards out of the Ermec uh, space, which I'm not sure what Ermec is, um, but it could be a progenitor of the other mechs or robots. It could be a master, like the most typical of the others, or it could just be a random word they made up. Anyway, here we, we're, we're here um, in the viscous plane, or maybe viscous planet, or viscous, you know, some other word starting with P-L-A-N-E. <laughs> um, but I think it's viscous plane. And it's po and uh, I'm going to read this again. I read it last time, but I find it a little bizarre, uh, so I'm going to read it again. The thick amber liquid soaks through your clothing and chills your flesh. You fight against the smothering sensation as it seals your nostrils off and blink as the fluid stings your eyes. So we're like... in... cased in goo. And the... Smothering, sealing nostrils makes me think that I'm in the process of suffocating. I I don't know that that's true, but I it just sounds like it. It also sounds like I, I expected it to be warm because it was viscous and gooey, um, but I guess it's some kind of cold goo. Anyway, um, oh right, so the lay whoa 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 the layout here is um, there are walls on these three sides, and to the south there's a wall, and I guess that's all I know, although I do know the place doesn't extend north of this, but I'm just going to not bother to notate it right now. So, I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm drowning. Okay, so I think I have to cast the spell from a long time ago, back in Arborea. Yeah, we can now breath. <laughs> still still hasn't learned how to spell breathe. Okay, as usual, I had to fix the sound for myself. I know it probably sounds the same to you, uh, but to me, it's like the difference between having... It kind of makes sense and not makes sense. And when it's, like, it's not makes, making sense when you're trying to talk, it's like hearing an echo of yourself. Well, maybe not quite that bad, but bad. Anyway, we got Gills Gills running. Uh, if for some reason you didn't see that episode, that's Gil, like G I L L E S, which I guess is supposed to be some guy's name or some lady's name. And the other one is, you know, Gills like a fish. Anyway, in any event, it's a thing that gives you the ability to breathe underwater, not a random stutter where I just say the sound twice for no reason. Uh, there's a trap over here somewhere. Is the trap marker right here? Hmm, there's a sneeze, which I'll probably edit out, but because it's gonna be a little intense. Okay, um, the west is that the extent of the world? I don't think that's the extent of the level, I think it goes further. And we have another trap this way. Uh, probably we could have detected it from standing here. So I imagine this is symmetrical, but I don't know if it's here or here, so... I guess we'll just... I, I kind of want to know where it is, so I'm going to walk on top of it and find out that way. Or rather, not walk on top of it. Or, I should have said, I would risk walking on top. I, I also am curious what our coordinates are. So right now we're 6 west, so I'm going to put in a 5 here. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm surprised we're 6 west. Let me, let me pull out a little bit. 
wonder what the exit is considered to be. Because... I don't know if I just cry it for these. I think I may have just assumed it was from this location. Then again, the exit may be where we're headed, which would be weird. Um, so five west from where we are, one, two, three, four, five. It's definitely not here. And if we go up all the way, one, two, three, four, it's not here either, I don't think. Well, it's close. Oh, it's six west. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And five north. One, two, three, four, five. So although the various segments of the first level of Canestia don't have, you know, coherent coordinates, I, I think the, the next levels do, which is a little curious. Um, which means these numbers are probably all wrong. I just put them in there assuming they would be right. Uh, yeah. Let me just fix the east-west for now. So if this is... Are they at different zoom levels? No. I'm just... Okay, let, I'm just gonna move my little avatar for the moment. Here. And then go down. And at this level, we're at 4 west. And this level, so this should be 4. And I will... Uh, I'll take north, I'll take north-south down there. Because it's all... I'll do the initial labeling of this as 2, and leave it at that for the moment. I'll fix up that map later. And I'm going to move my avatar back. After I unselect stuck. And somewhere oh, somewhere over here I can put the um, five north. Okay, uh, let's zoom back in and continue exploring. I'm pretty sure there's a trap in the next square at this point. I tried. I verified it that way, but I just chose to. Maybe stupidly, but that's what I did. Anyway, looking south, it looks like this zigs back into itself. Because I see walls here and here. Of course, we're underwater again, except it's not water. It's some weird goo. And we're fighting an electric eel. An electric eel and a Mako mech. Huh. So we got, like, some kind of mix. Because I think electric eel, maybe that's considered to be thematic because, you know, it's electric. I am shade lancing the B electric eel because I don't know how long, how many hit points it will take to bring them down. So I'm focusing on that one. Hide. Uh, we cast luck. And anti magic because I think I'm going to get a bunch of electric shocks. And one more zap on that B electric eel. Let's see how this plays out. Well, they didn't spend their energy shocking me, uh, which is not what I expected. 
but they advanced, I think, 20 feet each, which means only the Mako Mech will be in range if it acts first. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, except this time I I will not... What What is... What is a hit everyone spell? Stun? Okay. Uh, I will not um, do anti-magic and such like because those are already cast. So we I, I use stun on them, which is an electricity spell. And I should have thought ahead and realized that would be unlikely to work well. But it seems like it worked fine. So that's unexpected. Okay, now they're in melee range, so my fighters are attacking the Mako Mech. Uh, my Bard is going to do Keel's Overture again, and Elena can try to backstab an eel. Is that a first time for everything, I suppose? The eel is down, the Mech is down. Maybe these are not, like, challenging enemies. And of course, eels and... <laughs> why do I find it more ridiculous for, for eels and sharks versus most of the other things? But somehow it seems ridiculous to me that eels and sharks are carrying a chest. But whatever, it's just one of those, you know, one of those things. Those tropes. It's a little silly for me to call it out since I'm a fan of these games. But it, it, just, it just amused me there. This feels like um, a very silly maze. Um, somehow I, I feel like it's it's going to be... Uh, symmetrical. Okay, so I misguessed how big the level is east to west, because... I put the coordinate numbers inside inside the map. Not backslash. Enter. Let's check where we are now. We should be at eight west. No, we're nine west. Huh. So if we're at 9 west, that's 8, 6, 5. Maybe I figured out I was wrong here and never adjusted. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I did it wrong the first time, and then when I was calculating, I saw I'd used the north axis instead of the east west axis. And then didn't fix it because I'm dummy. see more walls than that. And I moved accidentally. I don't know why I'm having this, like, disbelief reaction to this maze. Normally I just kind of wander around and put the walls down and feel like, you know, that's just how it works. Right now, I'm having this, this maze feels arbitrary and silly reaction. It's kind of weird. Um, I mismapped that for sure. The, these, these walls are correct, but um, that's what I can actually see. I'm just seeing an unbroken wall on the south side. Those walls that are four out are very hard to pull the detail out of. You know, is that a corridor north-south? Is that 
I don't know. I mean, I was over. I was on the north side of that. So there, unless there's one-way walls, it's just a long corridor. One, two, three. And Gills Gills is a short-lived spell, so... We can breath again. But I'm standing in hit point drain. Okay. How about here? Is this a hit point drain? I was sure it was a hit point drain, and then... You know, it said it was drowning, and I was like, Oh, I mis... I misunderstood. I feel like such a dummy now. I was right, and then I thought I was wrong. I'm gonna leave that in peace. Okay, looking south. Two walls on the left. None on the right. Um, do I need healing? How badly do I need healing? Not... I don't know. I'm gonna arrogantly decide I don't need to fix my hit points. Yet. Arrogantly and foolishly. I don't know. Maybe it's the lack of doors. Maybe it's the the, the fact that it's like um, mostly corridors, but all twisty. But somehow my my sensibilities and expectations are just like I don't know. Part of my mind says you're an Atari 2600 adventure uh, with that with that maze that makes no sense. I think I'm gonna fight. I think I'm gonna fight. Okay. Silver Sharks, Mickmashers. The Mickmashers are old. Everything else I think is new. Uh, I don't know which of these are going to be threatening. I'm going to, I guess, attack the new things. Uh, attack the Iron Sucker and the Iron Sucker and do a Kills Overture. Hide. Cast Luck. Cast Restoration because who knows what they do. And cast Mama. Mangor's Mallet, because... I don't know. I don't know what they do. Bring the hurt. Of course, it's very unreliable that these... that those, uh... hurt everything spells... uh... land properly. I'm not even saying what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I just don't feel like it's that important anymore. I feel like they're dying and they're not hurting me very much. And it just sort of doesn't matter anymore. 171 damage. Okay, so I guess I will accept that the silver sharks are somewhat dangerous. More to Elena than anyone else? I suppose Lillian has similar hit points, but, you know, no one ever takes a bite out of her. A mage's cloak, yeah, a thing, a thing I don't like. I mean, not that getting it is bad, but, well, it kind of is. Because on any inventory you don't want in this game, you have to manually go throw away to make space. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a location check. 10 west and 4 south. Okay, that seems... feels right. 4, 3, 2, 1... It's wrong. If I'm at 
four south. This should be three, two, one, zero. And this should be one, two, three, four. So let's check my map versus the auto map and see whether there's a strong correlation. Um, yeah, they fully agree. I'm going to assume for the moment I just had the numbers wrong. Again. And I've also um, discovered the full extent of the map. Uh, well, I don't know for sure that it's symmetrical. If it's symmetrical, I know how far it is east. I could sometimes... Because of... Um, sometimes symmetry makes... Doesn't work because they want to make the dungeon an even size. Like, having a center point and symmetry doesn't work if it's 10 wide. Whatever. Not that important. I have an approximate box that I'm expecting to fill. And I did not expect that. Okay. Can I, can, please. Please, I want. No. Don't want a keyboard mode. Stop. Okay, uh, so I'm here. We get a light from the south cuts through the murk and reveals stone walls sm worn smooth by the thick liquid flowing through this underground lake. You see my terrible typing, especially in this posture I'm in. Uh, I I do kind of feel that it's very strange that they're calling this a lake. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I would call it, but I don't think of... I wouldn't think of lake as being lots of corridors filled with liquid. There's an opening in the ceiling that seems to go to a new area. Do you wish to swim up to it? So this is one of those times where I think I found the exit to the level long before I finished it. So I'm going to say no, which I just did, and go back to exploring. to get the message icon and put it here. Oh, there's a trap to the north. I will... I will demarcate that. I will indicate that. Ha! It is. It is so indicated. Okay. I think it's here based on what I just saw. With my mind. I feel like that's the most magical thing I actually do on a regular basis, is, like, have this sorcerer's sight running. Because Trap Zap feels, like, so... workmanlike. I have no idea what that pause was. Um... And the nuke, the magical nukes, uh, they might feel more magical if, you know, this was a modern game with animations and stuff. Or even a game from five years after this one. Um, but because it just kind of, like, pumps out a bunch of numbers, it feels... I, ha I have this perception of it that kind of is more like, uh... I don't know, suppressing fire from a machine gun or something than something that registers as magical or wizardly. Okay, we have a trap over there somewhere. Oh, I'm standing on a stuck square. And we found silence. Oh, so many things, so many things. Stuck and silence and a trap of the location of which I don't know exactly. 
looking this way, this looks like it circles back, or maybe circle is not the right term, winds back. I didn't read that. I was thinking, you know, I know what that is. That's an octopus, but it didn't say octopus. Uh, spell I want is skill. Now I'm sitting here and loading a fight. Three. So I really read that as Mark Three Neptunes. I'm not entirely sure that's what they mean, but I think it is. Which, like, I don't know what that, but I don't know what a Mark III Neptune is supposed to be. Is it like a submarine? Uh, it's just a little weird. Anyway, um, I killed them, whatever they were. A thieves hood, I think that's new. That is not new. That's not new for sure. And Griselda's picking up everything, which makes me think I'm inventory clogged. So, um I can drop the youth potion for sure. Uh those light those keys aren't helping, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can get rid of them, though. Uh, black arrows I really do not need. I don't really need this longbow either. It's not really helping me at all. I think I was, was sort of in the back of my mind. I thought I would drop the longbow off in my bank of secondary characters. Um, but it's not going to happen. I'm not going to... I'm not going to ever remember to do it. It doesn't seem important enough to, for me to remember to do it when it matters. Uh, my rogue also has a long bow. That feels somehow less stupid for her to have, but still kind of stupid. The night spear I have to get rid of. But for now, I'm going to drop this long bow. I will almost certainly never use it. I don't think it will... I don't think it's ever going to be worth much damage. The arrows of life I got from Arborea do... Not terrible damage, but uh, I think you can only get like 20 of them in the whole game. Uh, I guess I will go over here. I'm not expecting to find anything. Well, I found a stuck square. Shows what I know. A spirit Serpent. Sounds like it would be a tongue twister, but yet is not. Like, I don't know, it's not hard to say. But it does sound like a goofy, I don't know, bad, uh, like, unclever wordplay name. So it's gonna breathe at us from that distance. And fail. So I guess I will um, respond by sending night lances at it. From my position. It's probably in breathing range now because it advanced. Oh, but my rogue is in position. So probably it's dead. Did get a breath weapon off. Though not a really impressive one. Sorry if you can hear. Uh, my neighbor who's decided to do some kind of drilling or, I don't know, some kind of power tool.
So I don't know what I should do with those if I encounter them. Uh, maybe melee men them in and turn them to stone. Swindler. I'm kind of afraid to find out what that does. Stuck. Oh, a troth lance. I looked up troth meanwhile. I was like a little vague on what does it actually mean. Uh, as an item, which is not the word, um, it's just a slight armor improving weapon that does reasonable damage. As always, I prefer stone blades with their infinite damage to weapons that do reasonable damage. Uh, of course, troth means something like sworn, like pledged, like, um, which is why betrothed means what it does. So, uh, what a troth lance mean? I don't know. A sworn lance, like a, a bannerman, some kind of a thing? Maybe? Maybe it's just a random word they pulled out of the, uh, pulled out of the air. Okay, so, um, I came over here, and I'm facing this way. I guess it's not symmetrical, which makes me feel a little better. Like, I no longer feel like this is... I don't know, somehow it just... It, it got through my barrier of this level is silly. I think I'm loading a fight. Magic siphons. These are boring. We're running. standing in a magic point drain. I thought I was. Does it start here? No, it starts here. Turning on my gills again. As usual, mapping and efficiently going through spell point drain are sort of in conflict. Hmm, <laughs> this is new, a cyborg squid. But not eventful, at least by itself. So let's try the middle passageway. Oh, I, I didn't let a, a metal eel into my party. Okay, I already can see that. I could not see that. Or that. Where's message? Here we go. Feels like the introduction to a boss fight. You feel a moving current moving through the sl a slight current moving through the oily fluid. Something swishes through the murky lake, and you feel a chain-like body writhe between your legs. Like if I had a real-life dungeon master or something telling me that, I'd be like, "Okay, I pull up my sword and I stab it," because I would assume in a computer, modern computer game. I would expect, I mean, 
If I'm reading text at all, it's probably not that modern, but whatever. Uh, modern sensibilities would make me think... Oh, I did this wrong. That that would be sort of a preamble to a fight, like... Da -na -na! And then there would be a boss battle team and whatever. Oh, no, I didn't do this wrong. I'm, uh, I'm so dumb. I haven't stepped forward yet, so... This is the correct layout. Okay, now step forward. And... I thought I saw my hit points go down. They do. Okay, so that's a red. And this... is nothing special. Oh. No, I lied. It's a silence. I just thought the spell, the song fell off. Okay, more silence. And looking south, I see three walls. Moving south, I can play songs again. I can. I already knew about all of those walls. Okay, so from here I can sense a trap. From here I cannot, so there must at least be a trap here. Which I can now get rid of. And if I step forward to... I can't sense a trap, so... There's only one, and that's where it was. Mermech. I'm gonna focus on... Oh! I... Oh well. I pressed R instead of F. They're kind of near each other. So I just fumbled it. I think there's a spell point train here that I keep walking across, but... I keep forgetting to check exactly where it is. Uh... I should... How did I erase this wall? I knew there was a wall there. Maybe I should never put it down. Uh, I'm actually facing this way. I feel like my lights are my light is running out more often than usually. Usually, it usually does. But, um, there's no darkness squares for sure, so. Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> there was one change, it would be stuck squares are stupid. And I don't think this trap was here. I think that's a error. Like here or something. I think that's what I see. Does Autumn Map agree with me? Mr. Autumn Map agrees with me. So is there, like, a monster down here, or is that just flavor text? Uh, maybe it's alluding to the variety of monsters down here. Kill the Iron Sucker and a Cyborg Squid, and use Kiel's Overture, and hide, and, um... Uh, just, just kill stuff with spells. I got too many gems. Just kill everything.
Oh, what is what is going on with this fight? Uh, I think the magic siphons do not have a ranged attack. So the only question remaining is: Does the black jaw, brass jaw rather, do anything interesting? I'll try pulling him in. Even though he's pulling him, he's walking up himself. I should have cast restoration in there. Someone should have. Oh well. I guess it didn't matter. I've, I've like it's just been a few days since I played this last, but I've kind of forgotten all my finger memory. I was like, how do I disarm a spell or a trap or a chest? How do I, I was like pressing all the wrong keys. Uh, they give me another wine skin, which makes me think that I'm going to need a wine skin or a canteen in this uh, realm, this dimension somewhere. Duck. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, what, what are all these things? Uh, there are things I'm going to kill off screen. No, Wither Snakes? Those are totally new. I guess I'm going to focus on them because they think they're going to wither me. And I remember being withered and I remember it mattering. Even though I think it doesn't matter anymore. Overcompensating for past problems. Let's use to advance. And now we're gonna kill gonna kill the heck out of that eel. Okay, so now that I'm actually paying attention to my spell points. It's time to use some gems. Lillian will use a gem, and Griselda will use a gem. What else is she carrying right there? Oh, that thief's hood that I haven't figured out. I should hand that over. Okay. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. But first... No, not, not that. Thief's hood, trade to Elena. Whose inventory is full. Okay, fine. I'll take care of the drowning problem. Okay, uh, Elena. What do you have you can get rid of? Probably gems. An item. Which is a gem. Oh, and I pressed... I pressed the wrong key. I left her inventory instead of moving on to the next item to hand over. Okay, trade... to... Lillian. Oh. Trade to Griselda. Oh, I pressed the wrong key again. Anyway, uh, where's that thief's hood? Trade to Elena? And what have you got for a hat currently? Have you got a hat at all? Oh, you have a thief's hood for a hat. Okay, so another thief's hood is not particularly useful. Dropping it. Um, and another stuck square.
That's where I am, right? I think... the stuck square. It's here. Okay. You're here, and I'm here, and this is what we see to the west. And to the south, Did I move back yet? No, I just <laughs> thought about moving back and didn't actually move back. Yeah, three in a turn. Okay, let's go through the little wiggle. Oh, stuck. And then wiggle around this way. Stuck squares. I got really sloppy in there. I accidentally used the wrong items as... Like, I, I used a power ring? I wonder if I used it up. Um, I was just ready for them to go away. Kind of low blood sugar. I haven't eaten for a while. Anyway, not very exciting to talk about. Yeah, I still have the power ring. I have no idea what it did. Um... I will step one square. Uh, so I guess I have this region left. I have a suspicion that I'm not going to find... Part of the reason, I think, that I don't have a ton of energy for focusing on these fights. Okay, so part of the reason I am unenthused at the moment... Partly it was low blood sugar, which I'm fixing, and partly it was... Um, partly, I, I, I guess... Uh, I was feeling kind of unenergetic, which means I probably shouldn't have been recording. But uh, I poured the tea I'd been making since before I started, and it's probably better now. Anyway, um, but there's other contributing factors. The biggest one that's obvious to me is... I feel like I've already solved the level. And that feeling of uh, already knowing what's there is really a consequence of this being a replay. Um, or partly a consequence, because one of the whole fun parts of the mapping experience is you you have a space that's unexplored, and there could be anything in it. You really don't know what you'll find, and uh, sure, most of the places you explore may have nothing, but they all have the potential of having something interesting. And so you go through this methodical process of finding your way through it, which is also interesting. Uh, and then, you know, part of the value of what you find is the fact that you put in the time and effort to find it. So this, so a level where um, mostly all you do is go to the other, you know, you, there's a start and a finish and almost nothing happens in between. Uh, it's not an ideal level by any stretch. But um, even if nothing of any particular consequence happens in a place you explore if it's on its way to sort of something that's interesting and helps build up the suspense and time and effort involved to... I'm not fighting those. <laughs> Screw that. Last time I fought Wither Snakes, I got, like, withered, like, five times in a row and was very tired of uh, clearing it by the time it was done. Anyway, um, but if I already know... If I remember... If a level is simple, I 
can remember what's there. Or especially after I find what what's there, you know. It's like, um, I'm trying to think of how to explain this. If there's so little that when I find the one thing that's there, it jar, it will typically jar my memory. And at that point, I will remember that's all there is. Whereas a level which has a bunch of stuff, I may not remember exactly where it is. Um, and even if I do remember what's there, and there's a bunch of stuff there, I haven't found it all yet, so I can kind of enjoy the anticipation. Whereas a level that nothing happens, and I remember... I will typically remember that nothing happens, and then I will kind of just be a little bored <laughs> waiting for it to be over. But I could be wrong, so there's always that. Uh, I could be wrong about how many stuck squares there are. Okay, dump, bump, bump. This is also a stuck square. But there does come a point uh, when I get near finishing the map where I get kind of interested in the completion, even if um, I wasn't interested a little while ago, so like having that little bump right now. kind of discovery. It's, um, the discovery that you're done. It's the discovery that your assumptions may have been correct, or, um, I don't know. Sort of like finding something. Yeah, I'm drowning, but first I'm gonna write down stuck here. G-I-L-L -L instead of rest, but I did I do want to cast that too. Okay, so now we're going to go on off to um, the far corner. Oh, jeez. Come on, stuck squares. So there's one here. Nope. There's one here. I wonder if I can phase door. Because if I can, maybe I can skip some of that stuck. Yes! Okay, that simplified things noticeably. Okay, and uh, before I go through, I want to do what's the last scry site. We are 12 west. Okay, so that, that uh, matches what I eventually ended up with after all those clumsy starts. And three south, which we're actually here, so that this all checks out. And I'm going to do a little teaser by going up through the opening in the ceiling to a new area. What do we find? We find through an open portal... Oh no, it's telling us. We find we are in something called a sanctum. Positionally, it makes no sense, because of course it overlaps with uh, Urmex Power something. But I will just make a new map for it, and we 
will map the sanctum when I see you next time. Playing Bart Tilty, thanks! Enjoy. So here's a little coda to my whole mapping problem. Uh, I'm currently standing at this point in the viscous plane, and Scrysite says... I'm two south of the exit. Twelve west, two down, whatever, but two south. And I'm facing north. I'm going to go one step north, and then I'm going to run it again. What does it tell me? It tells me I'm two down and twelve west. In other words, zero. So one of the reasons why I was having so much trouble with this was because it goes four south, three south, two south, zero. <laughs> and then one, two, three, four, five. So there's something buggy here in the implementation. And I did a bunch of fishing around to um, try to figure out whether it could be that um, there's like a hidden amount of space in the level or something. I think it has to do with the whole idea that you go... I suspect it has something to do with the fact that there are two ups from this level that go to completely different places. I could be wrong about that, but... Definitely the Skysight coordinate system freaks out here, which is partly why I had so much trouble figuring out how the numbers were supposed to work. It's just not entirely consistent, and that's how it is. Anyway, see you next time.